Hello, I'm Max Balegde. Mm, look at me, my name's Max Balegde, and I'm George Clark. You oh, always welcome. say it wrong, by the way. Balegde. It's ne- not never once have I or anybody other than you said Balegde. Should I just George Clark? Should we go with that? Loads yeah, shut of the people fuck call up. you Balegde. They, uh, you are the only one. That is absolutely I a lie. I have never in my life known anybody, met anybody other than you that says Balegde. So many. You, you're not saying one. you're making it sound different to the way I'm saying it. Say it. Balegde. I'm yeah, sorry, but, yeah, but you, you end Le- Balegde. Let's let the audience decide. Is that not the exact same? Balegde. Thank you. Right, Imagine then. that there's an apostrophe over the E. All right, Balegde. And I'm wow. George Clark, and welcome to the Useless Hotline. Wow. TikTok wasn't working out for us. We decided to step up our own little business. Yes, we did. And the Useless Hotline is a place where we help you, no matter how weird. What? Well, we help you with your queries, no matter how weird, disgusting, or embarrassing they are. But it won't always just be us. Spoiler uh, alert! It is today. Ah! So we just Sometimes we'll be joined by guests. Yeah, is yeah. The, what I was making yeah, the point yeah, for there? Yeah. Um, but hey, how are you? I'm bloody brilliant. Oh, Actually, I've had the lies. worst week of my I've, life. I've had a horrible oh time. Oh my god! We've been together nonstop because we went on a trip to Japan for. Can it you well? Were we gone for eight days? Yeah, something like that. Um, I I mean it was it was a wild ride. I feel it was mental. mentally exhausted from you right now. Um, but I'm here. Do you I've know had what I mean? I'm a professional. This for too long. I'm a professional. I show up to work. Ori I get, get the job done. Ori Gat, no. Oh wow. Do you know what I found really weird? And I mentioned it as soon as I got back home to Andrew. I was like, when you're there, like they, because obviously there's certain, it's, it's a very like little English speaking country, Tokyo, which I mean, we're used to. Sorry, you have just, it's a very little English speaking country. Maybe Tokyo. I'm a very little English speaking person as well. Then. Tokyo is a city. Oh shit, yeah, well Japan, what I meant. Right, okay then, okay. Not many people speak English, <laughs> which is interesting because obviously for us, we so we we spoke about it because we met these Spanish um, girls and they Ariba, yeah Ariba Dutch. I don't know what that means. Um, and we were saying how like w- we as like British people are just so like ignorant yeah. to like learning other languages and we literally just go to places and expect people I've to downloaded know it. Duolingo. Have you really? Then, and I'm learning ah, Spanish. Oh wow. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so like we would have to learn certain words like arigato, which is. Uh, thank you. You, and, you didn't say it like that. Well, no. So I started saying it like arigato because I don't want to be... Because to us, we're taught that like if you like mimic... Well, most of the time when people mimic like Asian accents, they're doing it to be offensive and they're like trying to take yeah. the piss out of them. So I would feel bad for like doing it in their accent, but I would say it in my accent and they wouldn't understand me. Arigato. Literally, I would be like... <laughs> I would be like arigato. Konnichiwa, and like, arigato. Literally, and they'd be like, what? Mm. So I found it really interesting over there how like we had to basically like do their accents to say certain words and they would understand us yes whereas like if we did it over here then that would be classed as offensive so i was like mm. it's very interesting how like, you wouldn't believe what we got away with saying over no, there sh- <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> as um, long as you put an accent on it it's okay <laughs> remember that kids yeah no but it was it was a very very interesting weird place i would describe Don't it say as weird no it, it, it's Different. very very weird for like us like mm. the things i found it interesting how some parts of Japan and Tokyo were so technologically advanced and they would do things like, like for example, you would be in a taxi, mm-hmm. a regular car, not even like yeah. a fancy car. The doors would ping open by the press of a button. Not even they're... slidable doors, just yeah. doors. There's a little, he had a, I think he had like an air pressure thing next to his thing. Yeah. Psh, yeah. Psh, psh. And, the, and he could open it and close it. Did we? You always did. Why? I got out of the car and then he just closed the door and drove off with oh, you. Oh, that scared me a lot, actually. That really scared me. Because um, he, he put this driver pulled in like on a road and then George got out and then I was paying because obviously I'm the fucking boss. HBIC. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I was the HBIC head bitch in charge. And um, we and then, and then he closed the door and yeah. drove off a little bit and I was like, fuck, I'm getting Meanwhile, robbed. I was like, yes! <laughs> Woo! I was like, it's happening, I'm being taken. Origato, sir. Yeah, but then, he, no, he just pulled in um, around the corner and yeah, that was that. But mm. what a weird place. I mean, I've written down a list of things that, nice. we, that we did when we got there, just in case, you know. Just because I care about my job and George just chilled up with nothing prepared. Okay. The flat I don't need out. To. I'm here for the... Yeah, traps. because I do it. Yeah, it's for the first chapter. Oh my god. 
Um, so the flight there, very fancy, business class. Of course wow. he wants to get this in. I was going to gloss sorry, over it. Yeah, of course you were. Um, no, it's just so cool. Every possible opportunity in the airport. Is there a business class version of this anywhere? Does anyone <laughs> I know? I was trying to get as much. I mean, we did not pay for the <laughs> ticket. Spoiler alert. Um, a brand took us out. We can't say sorry, this Sorry, this, this is a queue. Is there a business class queue Literally, that we can get in? Literally, I was like, do you know what? There might be. Who knows? <laughs> we were going through security. I was like, is there a business class version of this? They were like, no. I was like, all right, fair enough. I was just checking. Do you know what I mean? Um, the food, <laughs> banging. Sleep. Yep. Guys, you get to fully recline your chair. I will never get used to that. No. Being on a plane and being able to fully recline your chair is so, it's such a luxury. So enjoyment. Oh my God. I literally loved it. Like, yeah. oh, it's going to make me feel shit every time. Because obviously, I mean, the chances of me playing, paying for a business class flight ticket for myself are very slim yeah. because they're so I only expensive. think very slim about him. <laughs> You, wow. you, you've been missing out on your gym sessions, haven't you? And you're a fat <laughs> How about that? <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah. I think that might be the first time that word's ever been spoken yeah, on the I useless hotline. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to report you to HR for that. <laughs> I think we actually need to blow that out because I don't think it's allowed. One sec. Fuck you. Um... <laughs> <laughs> um Yes, so I didn't really get to get my exercise in whilst I was away, but I'll have you know, one of the first things Andrew said to me when I walked through the door, he said, you've lost weight in your face. I said, I don't think, I don't know, I don't <laughs> think I have, because I ate fried food every single day. Bear in mind, Domino's like, twice. Uh, Domino's twice. No, you didn't, once. No, twice. McDonald's twice. Oh yeah, McDonald's. Oh yeah, oh yeah, because we tried to get McDonald's and it was it was guys, it was so difficult out there. Uber Eats was all in Japanese. We were trying to work our way through it, but we got there in the end. Um, but yeah, so like McDonald's, we ate. Mm -hmm. That was a really weird experience. Do you know what I noticed? Tip: If you go into Japan, um, if you are thinking you're going to get things like chicken katsu curry or go to McDonald's and get a nice chicken burger, you are not. Chicken over there is not the mm, biggest. Chicken's like, an food. odd. Yeah, chicken's an odd thing to eat over there. Well, they they specialize in like pork seafood occasionally beef i would say was okay it's a beefy place as well yeah uh, but it's most it's very heavy on seafood Fish. so like we would go to like mcdonald's and order a chicken burger chicken nugget and it was the chicken there is very like gray and jelly like that's yeah, how i had you a drumstick that was, oh that was that was i'm awesome. surprised i'm like here today to tell the tale was, i had two of them it literally looked like um, a cow's foot. What, you know, George? It looked like I pulled it out of a tin. You know, like oh, it did. Like uh, oh, roast chicken in a like, tin. It was like beige, like a dark beige color, wasn't yeah. it? It was like oh, it was not, and it was oh yeah. If that, that really color came me in out. a t-shirt, Max Belegdi would wear it. Literally, yeah, I, that is so accurate. I really would. <laughs> um, but oh my god, yeah, that that was vile behavior. Um, but the food as a whole, I feel like we. We had we were adventurous. We yeah. both ate. Oh my we gosh, had a, we had a chicken teriyaki burger at McDonald's. <laughs> we did, and the beef teriyaki. Don't forget that they have fillet of shrimp. Yeah, there. shrimp fillet. Shrimp we, fillet. After, sorry, after saying we were actually quite adventurous, and then agreeing <laughs> with me on my joke about McDonald's <laughs> doesn't help. I mean, you that, out. that was quite adventurous. Like the, the McDonald's options that we picked. Um, the shrimp fillet was so fascinating to me because I was like. How can a shrimp be a burger like that? But they obviously just like smash it up. How does a blind girl know what's in a shrimp? How does she? I mean, um, probably. How does a blind girl know what's in a fillet? Oh, she just have to taste, I guess. But to be fair, the shrimp fillet tasted like a chicken burger here. It I fillet thought. did. It did. Mm. It did. So it was very, very wild vibes. Um, what else? Also, we did this experience on the brand that took us out. Again, we can't talk about it. That sounds, it's nothing like secretive. It's just that the reason why we went there is not out until later this summer. So we can't really say anything. Um, but anyway, <laughs> we, they took us on this boat cruise along the, what was the yeah, main river cruise, called? Just a boat. Yeah, well, it, it, the, the boat was cruising down the river, to be fair. Um, it was a little boat, uh, medium sized boat, I would say, actually. Like mm. there was about 20 of us on Small it. Small boat. No. I'd go as far as small. No. Small boat is like six Dingy. people. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, what's the river called? You, um, remember, you, you said it. The River Japan. Right. Okay. The River Japan. Um, <laughs> and when we were getting onto this boat, you said, didn't you? You was like, oh my God, look, there's a jellyfish in the I water. I did say that. That is verbatim. It is. And then we all looked. Guys, in this river, it was just nonstop jellyfish. Like mm. imagine the river, what's it called in London? Thames. Oh yeah, but just jellyfish everywhere. It was so interesting to see. I was like, "Wow, that's so cool." Then we got onto this boat. This boat experience 
was what um i can't remember what hbic said so basically we had this woman that was like running the whole trip for us and i referred to her as hbic because she was the head bitch in charge <laughs> she wore a kimono Funny. every day which was so a different colored like fancy kimono it was so cool and uh, she literally ran shit over there and she, yeah, she took did. us uh, on this boat and she told us that the royalty of Japan used to do this. This used to be like the highest of the like most esteemed thing that and you could do. Just a couple of shitty TikTok. Literally, <laughs> then we rocked up there, um, yeah. and we got served this like traditional meal. We walk in. There's like bowls of raw fish, wasn't there? And yeah. squids, like whole little baby squids. Yeah. And then they like prepared rice, and you came and got your own bit of rice. Yeah. And they brought like tempura around and everything. Yeah. It was so interesting. Um, we tried a squid. Yeah, we did. Did you? Yeah, Actually? you saw me. I ate it in front of you. Oh, yeah, you did, yeah. Um, wild times. Wild times. What else? 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven. Whoa, now try and stop us talking about this place. Yeah, it's so cool. So it's like a, a corner shop. I think people, most people know what 7-Eleven is. But you'd think that, but I mean, I didn't until I went to... Cause they have them in Australia. Yeah, but you're in, from a little town called Darwin. Right, and where the fuck are you from? A city. You fat... <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> 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 you can't just blur it out. We'll beep it out, please. On blur everything. it out. I'll yeah. do it. Who said that? <laughs> um, <laughs> no. Um, what the, who was that? We, I don't know. Um, 7-Eleven. So I only knew what 7-Eleven was because I've been to America and Australia and they have them there. Oh, if I was from flex. the UK... Oh, look at me. If I was from the UK, I would not know. No, nah, shut up then. It's just a supermarket. It's a little supermarket thing. That's a fa and it sold Japanese food because we're in Japan. And there was hot stuff and cold stuff. It's literally exactly what every place else in the world is, ever. I just wanted to see how far, how much you would speak if I just kept doing that to you. Go on, be more descriptive. Go on, what, what sort of stuff was there? What did we get? <laughs> food poisoning. <laughs> no, we didn't. We got uh, we didn't. all sorts of random assortment of things, most of which we didn't like because yeah. we were trying to be too exotic. Mm. Uh, milk, water, sweat. Yeah, wasn't keen on that. I mean, I thought that I was getting a bottle of water. Do you know I've had like since when we were there, we bought Japanese SIM cards, so both of our phones turned Japanese, which yeah. sounds is a weird thing to say, but it actually happened. Like I would go on TikTok and things were in Japanese, yeah, and like the <laughs> fonts and everything, and my entire for you page went Japanese. Mm. Um, so I would see people like, oh, that moment when you hung over and you go to the Seven Eleven and get a sweat bo sweat bottle. And it like cures your hangover. And I was like, if we knew this. So relatable. Yeah, I mean, well, I, so basically I got this bottle of what I thought was a bottle of water. It said sweat on it. It was the only English word on it, it just said sweat. Yeah, it was a bit of a bad vibe really. And I, I don't know why I didn't look at that, but turns out it wasn't water. It was like water, it was like an energy drink of some sort. So it wasn't that bad. It was a it, hydration beverage. Equivalent to your Lucozades and your Powerades out there. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Prime. Um. Oh, see, I'm really worried about drinking out of this now because I just cleaned it. had the thickest layer of mold in this mug ever. Like, really thick. Right. And I, I did get it all out and I, like, boiled it. Do you want a beverage? Um, Don't be a little tart. Let's I just got off a plane. <laughs> so did I. I know, but fine. I'll I'm, have, I'm built different. Yeah, <laughs> I'll have one of the um, seltzer things, please. Yeah, you will. Yeah, I will. Um, right, audio listeners, George has just turned. I feel like we haven't spoken to the audio listeners in a while. Also, <gasps> why did you do that? Because you wanted assault. You wanted assault. Oh my so. god! Physical assault is a real issue that faces this country. Oh my god! Why did you arrest just, this man? Why did you not just pick it up? Why? Did, what do you mean? Why did I pick it up? You just threw it. it Could have hit me in the face. That, that was the aim. Um, oh, oh yes, please. Actually, yeah, I don't even want that. Oh, thank you. Um, thank what you what flavour um, nondescript alcohol pop should I have? You should have strawberry and lime. Right. Um, sorry, audio listeners, if you just heard all that commotion. George literally... Oh, gosh. George threw a can at me, like, in my face. Attempted gay bashing that just happened. Um, what the hell? They call it gay bashing. But, I mean, we're not going to... We're not going to go into that. Also, um... Sorry, side note, it's our live show this month. Woo, everybody, Is round it? of applause. Nope, it's not this month yet. <laughs> it will be by the time this episode's out. It's our live show this month. Yeah. Um, Woo, everybody, round of applause. Very exciting. I started writing material for my parts of it um, 
about George whilst I was on the trip because I was just surrounded by so much inspiration of how irritating I didn't is. need to because I work off the top of the dome. Max knows very well we got very intimate on the trip. Off the top of the dome. Oh God. Sorry. I can't wait to be better than you at the live show. Um, cheers. Oh, sorry, but I don't use my mug. It's, put it in your it's mug. Got water in it. Put it in your mug. I don't want to. Honestly, finish George, your water. Put it in your mug. No. What's the point? Right, George does this thing as well that I've learned <laughs> since we've been away. He literally will just go like, "No, have this." Like he'll, he'll offer me some food I, or something. I no, shut up. Only do it to shut you. Shut up. He will offer me off. some food or something, and I'll be like, "No, no, no I'm fine." And he'll go, "No, have it. Have it." Over and over and over again. Like he'll have a sweet. You had a sweet in the airport. <laughs> And you were like, oh, do you want one? I was like, no, I'm fine, thank you. And he's like, no, 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 go on, have it. I was like, no, I'm fine. Have it. No, I'm fine. Go on, just have it. Shut the fuck up. This no, is, I don't want a sweet. I don't want to put this in my mug. I'm going to drink it out of the can. This is why I do it, because this is the reaction Well, again. shut up then. <laughs> cheers. Do you know I don't even want to cheers. You're not even getting a cheers. To the audio listeners, I just rejected George. Go on, cheers, No, see, do doing it. it again. Cheers, I'm doing me. it right now. I'm not doing it. Oh, nice spill, mate. I didn't spill. Oh, I did. Um, <laughs> for the audio listeners, they just spilled my drink. Oh, I'm sure they could have gathered No, back. you never know. You never know. I don't like to neglect them. Anyway. <clears throat> okay, yeah. So the, the live show is coming up. I'm very excited about it. We're going to be starting rehearsals, I think, next week. And... Um, if you manage to get a ticket, it's going to be really good. So well done to you. And yeah, who knows what other secrets we'll have in store for you sometime soon. I don't fucking know what I'm saying anymore. Back to Japan. So already we just got off the flight. <laughs> this is the sort of banter we had non-stop for a week. Oh my God. Well, I'm going to miss it. We stayed in a box hotel. Yeah, we did. Capsule hotel. Although it was only guys that were there. Yes. Because... <laughs> Disgusting Box. jokes. Oh, yeah. So it was a men's only one. Um, so George was in his element. George actually joke. came out as gay to me on the trip. <laughs> so, uh, if what? I had, imagine. I'm oh, sorry, I wasn't supposed to. Tell imagine him, it was, was a horrible oh, thing sorry, that would have been I wasn't if I had. To tell anyone? Oh my god. Um, oh well, these are what they won't tell anyone. Um, but yeah, so it was a men's only, and you were hard the whole time. You literally walked around. You had a rock on. I thought that was the done thing because everybody was fully erect. Well, yeah, but I think... It was like hole in the wall. There was a the doorway had a little <laughs> cut out. Yeah, it did. you had to walk shape. in sideways, didn't you? <laughs> so it was a bit embarrassing if it was like... I mean, mine, personally, mine was too thick, so it didn't really fit. The So the, I, I just had to crawl through the door. Um, but what a, what a weird, interesting place. If you don't mm. know, capsule hotels, how would you explain them to people? Uh, like a hotel, but really small if it was just the bed and the rest of the hotels are just just part of the bed. And by hotel, it means room, like not yeah. the like entire it's, place. Um, it was basically sleeping in a coffin. Yeah, literally. Do you know them um, coffins that they stick? Is that what it's called? Morgue, in, the, yeah. in the wall. Literally, they were then like you were like on top of people, next to people, everywhere. <laughs> you could tell why he ordered this place. Up. Um, <laughs> and uh, ours was a spa as well. Yeah, it was. So when I saw Did the pictures, we get pictures, some use out of that. Yeah, no, we didn't. No, we didn't. I, it had a huge hot tub, and the shower, <laughs> the way that you showered, was similar to like a, a changing rooms, but you would shower like in front of people. So we were yeah. a bit like oh iffy about that. But we had some admin to do for I can't even remember what it was, but on, on that day we had some admin to do. Yeah. So grind never stops. It never does, even in Especially Japan. Especially at that hotel. Yes, Men only. Literally. Um so we were sat in this big No, 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 we weren't sat. So we I said, why don't we do it in the hot tub? Yeah. It looked really cool. And we I got said, there. Max, can we not just carry on in the bed? Oh God. Um so we got to the hot tub and everyone was naked. <sighs> like walking around naked and um well you just you just popped one out right there, didn't you? I popped one out? Yeah, it, it flew out. Just a little testy. What do you mean, popped one out? Your chizzy pants, George. That, that, that's what you mean by popped one out? Yeah. That makes it sound like a, a normal occurrence for you, then. Yeah. You just quickly pop one out. Yeah. Can't help it. That's absolutely revolting, Max. Yeah. Um. So we didn't go in the hot tub, did no, we? No, we didn't. No, but there was a free bar. Something else that I found mad about Japan, which we didn't really experience as much as what I've been told is the norm. Mm. They offer like, like for example, when we went to karaoke, yeah, 
I think that we had like, it's like once you book the thing, you have unlimited drinks because people don't really drink as much as we do in the UK over there. <laughs> hey. Hey. So like we got to our hotel, it was only 50 pounds a night. We got to the top floor, there was a free bar with like Malibu, yeah. vodka, loads of mixers with machines, ice. And I was like, if this was in the UK, it would get rinsed. Like people mm. would be twatted everywhere. Nobody was having any. And I was like, that is mental. So yeah. I pulled myself a little, a little something special. Did you know finish I mean? it, left it on the shelf. I his, did. I box. left it. Yeah, that I did. <laughs> Lita really rinsed that place. Yeah. Um, but I heard somebody in, oh my God. So in the capsule hotel in Japan, I heard somebody masturbating next to me. Wasn't and me. It was, well, <laughs> that was I, the person he heard above him. I must say, I at first I got a bit worried because I heard every move that you made, like every mm -hmm. time that you rolled, every time that you like breathed, I could hear it because it was a very thin piece of wood that separated us. Oh, so have you know it's, it grows. No, it doesn't. I've seen it. Um, and when I started to hear the noise, my first instinct was that it was you. And I was Why like, your first instinct is that what you wanted to happen. No, I was. Mortified. Would you have preferred if it was me or a randomer? A randomer. <laughs> if I heard you <laughs> masturbating, I would have been so upset. Like that would have just really well, ruined think, my entire trip. How do you think trip. I felt when I heard you join in? <laughs> well, I can only do it if someone else is doing it next to me. That's why I'm gay. Um, <laughs> that's why I'm. Gay. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> it's in the contract. Um, but. Yeah, it was really upsetting. And I text you, literally like, George, I think someone's wanking next to me. And you were fast asleep. And I didn't know what to do. And I had this internal... That's what he thinks. Little did you know, I was currently occupied. Ugh. I had this internal turmoil <laughs> of like, I feel like I need to film this because like, it's such a weird moment in my life. I'm in a box in Japan and someone's wanking next to me. But then I was like, it's going to hear me filming him. He's going to hear me speaking. But then I thought, nobody speaks English here. So I'll just do it anyway. And you can literally, in the video I posted on TikTok, you can hear... The Subtle self plug, nice. Yeah, nice <laughs> guys, if you don't know, I've got a TikTok account, so um, follow me there. Um, wild times, though. But yeah, the hotel as a whole, I would recommend if you're going to Japan yeah. or Tokyo, because it was very cheap, and I felt safe considering. Yes. Um, that it was theoretically an unsafe place, mm -hmm. but I think it comes back to the fact that in Japan, as a whole, the people are a lot more polite. Yes. And nice, mm -hmm. and the thought of somebody stealing if you were like in the UK would probably pass your mind yeah. whereas in Japan it did not even I didn't mm. even think that at any point anybody would steal indeed, from us indeed yeah so it's quite yeah quite an interesting um, quite an interesting experience really wasn't it you are correct Mr. Balig Dog Balig Dad that's not how you say it either um, let me have a look if I have anything else on my list what else did we do oh otter cafe we went to a cafe full of otters oh, yeah so guys another thing that they have in japan is cafes with different animals in them yep. that you can literally just play all with all sorts of animals shibas shibas which uh, is a was, what's a shiba how would shiba you is like a type of dog a type of there dog. was a hedgehog cafe hedgehog and there were otters otters <laughs> it's because the oh. others oh. the others you used that joke in japan and i didn't laugh then and i won't laugh now yeah, anyway good. Well, um, we'll laugh. there was a micro pig one which is conveniently where you were born and raised. Um, nice. One of the big ones sat opposite me right now. Um, and yeah, how interesting. All the different places. And we went to the Otter one, which I was kind of spearheading that mo movement because I wanted to go to the Otter one. Yeah. We got there and I was shitting myself. Yeah. It was a lot more scary than I've I thought it was going to be. I've got a very good talent to make you believe things slash scare you. Well, is it true? Is it false, the story that you told me? No. Oh, so what? Yeah, so you were just telling me the truth. So why? Yeah, no, I but I was making out as if it was like bad, bad. Well, that is bad, George. So we're queuing up to go to see these otters, and they come and give you um, this like card with all this information on it. Like, do not um, do this to the otters because they might bite you. Do not do this. Don't rub them on their belly because they don't like it and they'll bite you. And then, oh God. Sorry, my bad yeah, the consequence for everything was that they'd bite you. Yeah, pretty much. And then George was like, "Oh God, yeah." When this, when that guy happened, and I was like, "No, don't, don't say anything," because I knew that he was just trying to scare me, and I genuinely would have just walked out. I would not have done the experience because they, and then they gave us protective clothing to wear. Yeah, don't know why we needed a condom. That was a bit weird. <laughs> oh, it was good though, wasn't it? Banana flavored. Isn't it weird that they have different flavor of condoms? 
Like I've never tasted one before. Yeah, but they do. And like, <laughs> m- no, me neither. But they do. They have like banana strawberry flavor. And I just think, who is who is tasting a condom? Who is sucking someone off whilst they wear a condom? That just seems like a bit too much. But unless you have like open sores in your mouth and you're going to infect somebody, I don't want well, to wear a no condom. I don't think you need flavor then. That would probably hurt the sores, wouldn't it? No, what? But you're, you're missing what I'm saying. Unless, unless yeah, that but is no, the you're case. not, you're not. I'm not missing what you're saying. I, I know what you're saying. You do, you have a condom on, but then it would still negate that having a flavour on because you've got sores in your mouth, and it would hurt them more. Why would the flavour hurt the sores? Because it's just more to get in the sore, isn't it? Not necessarily. What do you mean, not necessarily? How the how's the flavour of thing then? Well, George, right. I think that you need to take a step back because we all know that you've never worn a condom before. You've never had text before. So, like, can rude. I just speak from experience, please? Um, my favourite is green tea flavour. They had that over there in Japan. I was just eating them for fun at the end. I don't know if you're supposed to eat them. The matcha um, condom was the The matcha big condom, it there. was. It's a big one over there. Um, oh, my God. In the 7-Eleven, I had this matcha cake. Delicious. I didn't even... I don't... I still, to this day, do not... I couldn't tell you what matcha is, but it's green. And, it is um, green. It was really nice. Mm. Yeah. You met your matcha. Mm, indeed. Um, what else then? What do we do? I was just saying something. Cafes, otter, literally, we sat there. She comes and puts an otter on your head. I said, Ooh. off the bat, Max hasn't even touched the otter yet. Nothing. Puts one on my lap, and then yeah. I think he's, she's going to go put one on him. Yeah. And me then too. I'm just looking at this little otter because, you know, there's an otter on my lap. You're going to look at the otter. She just goes at this, puts her fingers out. He just grabs his little paws yeah. around it and just lobs it on my head. It was wild. I was, first of all, a bit like, why the fuck did I not get one? Because I didn't get one for a good, like, 10 minutes after that. And you had two. Well, they're on famously them. homophobic otters. Well, yeah, of course they are. It did yeah. literally go, fuck it. Yeah. Well, no. um, <laughs> but wild times, little otters everywhere, mm. like, ottering about. Crazy. And I did, as soon as we left, I thought, I don't know if I agree with this. Obviously, it was a cool experience for us because that is just so not anything that you would find in the UK. Yeah. But then I left and I was like, where do they live? Because if they, if they just live in that little like box room think, that we were there. I don't think they do live in that little room. I hope that they don't because it looked shit. And after it, I was like, oh my God, can we free the otters, please? Like, why is there not movement to like, free these otters? There probably is. Oh my oh. God. Wow. So we've just been told um, by our producer, Callum, that thank you, Callum. the reason, yeah, thank you, Callum in the studio, um, that the reason why they have these cafes in Japan is because in residential buildings, you're often not allowed pets. So, of course. And famously, lots of people own otters. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. where am I going to get my otter fix? <laughs> yeah. Oh, little otter, though. It was it, they, they were really cute. Yeah. I had some sleepy ones. It was utterly ones. adorable. It was. I had some sleepy ones on my lap, and they, and they were just like little little cute little legends. Yeah. We've got that. a job to do, Max. We do. We do. Go on. Stop our messing. Let's stop guessing. guessing. Although we're not guessing, we're helping. I've yeah. got a little email. I like it. Oh. I haven't even looked and I can see I've got an email. Oh my God, that's amazing. There you go, send that in. Yeah. Get the dust off that printer. <laughs> <laughs> Beep. Sure. Beep. Um, okay, so I was about to say, what noise do you reckon you can replicate the best? Like electronic noise. Probably a beep. No, beep. no that's rubbish. What, 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 what type of beep was that? Um, a car reversing. Beep, Cars don't get a beep, beep reversing. Beep. Lorry yeah. then. There you go. Thank you. Good. That yeah. was accurate then. All right then. What, go on. What's yours? Go on. You're, uh, the only right. So I now obviously I've just spent a week with George. I now know that he would only bring something like this up if no. he had one in the bank. So he's gonna be like, oh, when like a radiator starts <laughs> or something stupid like that. Go on. What's yours? <laughs> That's go not why radiator starts. Go on. What's yours? That was the box hotel. Um, my <laughs> my one. Um, I was going to go for Samsung ringtone. See, he's already prepared this. I'm sure he's done this in the mirror right, multiple times. Just give me, give me a noise then. Go on, no, no, no. I want you to do the Samsung ringtone. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Matt, right, you can whistle. Fucking hell. All right, then you do it. I'm gay. Right. <laughs> All right. I win. All right. That's give a bigger me, difficulty to overcome the, them. Learn now to whistle. Give me Shut the, the Samsung. Give me the Samsung ringtone. I, I, I've never claimed to do it. I've never no, done go it, on, do it in my life. Do it, go on. I've just got new teeth. I don't know if I can whistle anymore. What, they fly out? <laughs> I've just got these teeth. I can't, I've not I've not properly learned how to whistle yet, so shut up. Teeth famous Keep your judgy eyes to yourself. Yes, that is literally how you whistle because I mean, you blow your air lips. through your teeth. 
You, didn't, you blow you, air through you go, your teeth. You whistle by going... <laughs> no, but obviously it's you not... do that. But the reason that you can do it is because of the shape of your teeth. What do you mean the shape of your teeth? How do you think that the air gets out? Yeah, for your lips. No, it's when your I lips have a gap that... in my teeth, I could do it. Your well, teeth you have to, something to do well, with it. You used to clamp your teeth shut and... Oh Push my god, I hate it. I literally hate him. I'm gonna read this question. <laughs> you whistling by smiling. I used to have a gap in my teeth. <laughs> Shut up. You're too, you've been whistling Shut wrong your whole up. life. <laughs> right. <clears throat> Dear Max and Max's friend, that's about right. Um, after the recent release of your Tokyo Disney TikTok, my boyfriend has taken it upon himself to cosplay Disney characters during sex. Oh, dearie me. Um, throughout the day, he sends me clues as to which character it will be tonight. <laughs> My God, how imagine if it was like Mike Wazowski and he's just like leaving eyeballs everywhere. That would be a bit intense, wouldn't it? Earlier on, he sent me a claw clip to my work with a note attached, the claw. <gasps> <laughs> no, I fear he may have stolen your hat to become the Toy Story alien. Oh my God, okay. What should I do? It is not becoming a serious... Uh, it is not becoming a serious concern in our relationship. I think it is. I think that they were supposed to say it is becoming a serious concern in our relationship because I am seriously concerned for your relationship currently. P.S. I fear the obsession may be contagious. Please see attached a picture of my new lock screen. Bravo. That's me watching the Disney show. <laughs> 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 this is... Right, can I just say... Disney, like the the people that follow me, are like because of this whole Disney thing, are literally so <laughs> remarkable. Like I, obviously, we went, we knew that we were going to Disney. Yeah. Uh, we didn't even talk about Disney. Oh my god. Anyway, we knew that we were going to Disney, and we'll just be like, oh, like I'll just like film like every now and again, just not really thick. Because obviously, in the moment, we're just having like a fun time. Mm. Post it the next day. It's got like a million likes. It's like people. I mean, I, in fairness, I completely lose my shit whenever I go. You. I'm so, I'm sorry. When you left that park and you were dressed as you were, that was at one of the <laughs> pinnacles of my life. Watching you walk through Tokyo with people that wouldn't understand you anyway, <laughs> but walking through dressed like that. Oh my god! And the fact that you got such few looks to, in your direction. When is I tell so you, so funny. Nobody gave a shit. Occasionally, people would look at me and like yeah. grab their friend and laugh. But people were just like, oh, crackhead. It, I was instantly put yeah. into the, like, uh, the, what's it called, category of definitely people thought I was a crackhead. If anything, it made it funnier. Oh, because it so I bet in your head you were, like, hoping people <laughs> would recognise it. Otherwise, people think that's just you. I was hoping more <laughs> people would laugh so that I could be like, oh, yeah, this is, like, ridiculous. Yeah. But people were just, like, in fear of me almost. <laughs> and I didn't anticipate that. And it was lots to handle. Someone came. We, we, we got on the train. Max sat down in his seat and some bloke gets on the train, scans his little code on like, the ceiling, I remember sit, this. sits down next to you, and then <laughs> and then looks, sees him, and then just goes, gets back up I and just sits next to this random old woman in the corner. I remember that. I remember I was asleep. And then he came and sat next to me, so I woke up. And then he literally just left straight, like immediately. And I was like, oh, God, that's a bit tight, isn't it? What a wild time. Um, right, to give you some help, I would say, if you're into it, if you like Buzz Lightyear plowing you every night, oh, or like, I mean, other characters are available, um, then I say go for it full throttle. That anything to, you know, spice up your sex life is never a bad thing. What I will say that it could get into dangerous territory if we're starting to deal with like characters that are on fire, for example, or characters God, that are lightsaber. villains. And yeah, exactly. Have like a lot of sharp or yeah. harmful weaponry. The Marvel involved. universe can get involved now with Disney. It, if we start, you know, Hulk don't want smash, Wolverine. Oh, you don't want Wolverine fingering you, do you? Oh god, oh, god, that would really slit Jesus. you right up on like a fish. Fillet, fish fillet. Um, of oh, fish fillet. Yeah. So, oh god, <laughs> I would say definitely. <laughs> Um, maybe address this well, if, if it, you're uncomfortable. Yeah, if, if it's not harming anyone, then go for it. Go it's for a bit. It. It's a bit odd that it's now every time you have sex, it's partly to do because of Max. Yeah, that's very weird. But, <laughs> um, but I mean, I'm into it. I've got. I'm a bit. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a bit hard right now. I don't like. Um, that. So yeah, interesting. Um, wow. I mean, yeah. Good for you. That's all I've got to say. Good for you. Well done. Um, I can hear the phone ringing. Really. 
Nice work. Thank you. Hi, Max and George. Massive fan of the podcast, especially that hunk that sits on the left. <laughs> Don't get me started on him. What a piece of candy. Um, my dilemma is that I've got a friend. I say friend. I've got someone who associates with me really? that is a massive fan of Disney, but they take, they take it too far to a point where wherever they go to a Disneyland, they get incredibly drunk and spend their life savings on toys and badges. Um, so I was wondering what you thought your advice would be. Uh, P.S. Uh, really fancy that one that sits on the left. The one on the right looks really disgusting. Bye. Right, thank you. Oh, that's nice. Right, it that seems, took me far too nice. long to realise that that was you. First of oh, all, that wasn't. Shut up. Shut the fuck up, you fat. <laughs> c- <laughs> <laughs> oh, that little laugh. Know, like little that. duck came Sorry. out. Um, <laughs> it really did sound like a duck, didn't it? Yeah, that's um, what I said it. <laughs> um, wow. I mean... How would you overcome that? What would your advice be to that person? My advice would be to that person, um, stop being so judgmental towards people that are just having a good time. Um, maybe stop being a little bitch. And maybe um, stop complaining about something that got you a TikTok with a million likes. How about that? Yeah, suck my cock as well whilst you're at it okay well maybe they were looking out for their friend who well maybe they're not friends didn't didn't look very happy on the the day that it was happening when i I was having (laughs) a great time you were going through peaks and troughs of what the hell am i like really upset and then like hysterically laughing and then straight back down down into a pit of i can't be doing this (laughs) i (laughs) when i so you have to all understand when i first went to disney and i i made that first video that everybody saw where i spent all my money at disney i spent more money in the disney stores on that day than i did on the actual trip as a whole including like flights accommodation and disney park (laughs) tickets so that was a really traumatic time for me so for that to be one of the things that people most know me for bit upsetting at first um however as soon as i have like one drink at disneyland i instantly want everything around me it Mm. took me a lot to not buy more if i was being honest they didn't have as many pins there which was a bit of a shock i was expecting to get a japan pin no yeah there was nothing tokyo themed no they didn't have any pins um and i mean to be fair thank god because it it could have it could have really escalated quickly but what a time they what had a three castles there. Three of them. Did they? Yeah. Two. Three. Where was the third? What was the third one? Beauty and the Beast. Oh, yeah. Oh, we didn't get to go in that, did we? No. That looked cool. That though, was like the biggest fair. castle as well. That was the biggest. But it was just at the back corner for like yeah. no reason. Oh, there was so much. Ca- Honestly, I would say Tokyo Disneyland as well, for anybody who's like going, it's not as centered around roller coasters as the other ones are. It's mm. more so like rides where you have an experience. If you're oh, a I Disney loved it. fan. I, I'd say, I'd say I'm gonna go on a whim. If you're a Disney fan, Tokyo Disney is the one to go to mm. to uh, explore your Disney needs. Yeah. If you're a roller coaster fan, I'm afraid to steer clear of Tokyo Disney. There's yeah. the Tower of the ter- Tower Tower of the Terror. The Tower of the Terror was the only <laughs> ride that made me feel icky dicky in my yeah. stomach. Yeah. Um, I oh my god, I just had the best time. And when we oh my god, so you were persuading me to get those jorts. Didn't those take long. I mean, I was going to opt for something else. I was trying to get you to get... I had that alien hat on, yeah. and I was trying to get you to get a Baymax yeah, one Yeah, but the, like the Baymax time. one doesn't even really look that much like Baymax. How does it not? Yeah, but it's just like it's just like a white thing on your head. With eyes and a mouth, like uh, yeah, with I know, Baymax's but like, head, yeah. I, but it's not, it's not like... It literally... If I... You, that no, is a no, stupid thing no, to say. No, it's not a stupid... It's, that is a stupid thing to say. It looks, like, it looks it, like Baymax, but it's... Yeah. it's but no, but it's, it's very basic. I've had an email come in. Also, um... Sorry, side note. Kim Petrus and Nicki Minaj had the potential to release the song of the summer. Yeah. Cheers, and um, the snippet that they put out on TikTok was incredible and insinuated that it was going to be like a high-speed dance track. And then when they released the full version, it was a trap song. And I'm, oh, it's still a good song, don't get me wrong. Oh, yeah. But I'm a bit upset about it and I just had to let that out. But carry on. It was a trap. It literally was. Right, bloody hell. Some honky so honks Sorry about that, today. everybody at home. Some honkers just honk the horn Get outside. Out. Speaking Goodness of, yeah. hello, fellow queers. I do oh. porn. <laughs> oh. I have an OnlyFans ah. and do sex work. Oh, I was with a friend okay. for the weekend a few months ago, so I did didn't. Double D and the didn't. Maybe that was that put there for a reason. 
subliminal messaging, double D's, bosoms. I didn't go on my phone okay. much, but after he went home, I went on my OnlyFans only to see that my, in capital letters, SISTER subscribed to me. Oh. I was mortified. And she had been subscribed for two days before I realised, so she would have had plenty of time to look at everything. I messaged her asking why the flip she did this. It didn't say flip, it said fuck. Oh. Um, and that was <laughs> why, why she did this. Uh, why she uh, why she did that and she was playing dumb acting like she did, 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 didn't know what I was talking about and kept denying it I know it was her because the profile was her first and middle name and also had her photo she keeps denying it and I don't know what to do what's even worse is I'm a trans man I have dysphoria of course but I'm comfortable enough now to do porn clearly but the thought of my family seeing that is horrifying especially as because I'm trans too there is everything on there and she would have seen everything oh. I also know it was her because a few weeks prior she told me that she tried looking for it but couldn't find it and oh, my OnlyFans isn't easy to find so she would have purposely been searching for a while and oh. she's always struggling for money and never has any so the fact that she paid money yeah. she doesn't have just to see is even worse oh. I don't know what else to say because she keeps denying it I haven't seen her since April last year and definitely not planning on it also I blocked her account straight away and it she refunded her the money Close. So I did, did, didn't even get anything out of it. What wow. do I do? What would you do? What would you do if your sister found your OnlyFans, Max? If my sister were watching me wank off, I think that Christmas Day would be so awkward, I probably wouldn't even show up. Exactly, she's already seen it. What's the problem? What would you give her for Christmas now? That is true. Snow globe? Oh, God, with is that cum? still sexual? <laughs> oh. Hey, want to um, see my snow globe? Oh. I think, wow. Um... Your sister's a weird doll, and that's not okay. You need to set boundaries and say, please don't I mean, watch me touch myself or like, touch others on my the internet. My family are very supportive of what I do. They well, watch we my know. videos. Yeah, well, they watch da -da 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 -da. your own part. Yeah, but they I take feel part. like if I then um, went into the realm of OnlyFans, which I don't plan on doing, um, I think if they then followed me over there, I'd say mother, father, grandfather, grandmother, oh. sister, oh. cousins. Oh, wow. Uh, thank you for coming here today. Yeah. Um, why are you doing this? And the response would be, horny. You're well hot. Yeah. What would you do if you found out that your sister was wanking off to you? That is a mental statement, isn't it? That's a, <laughs> that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a ridiculous question. I mean, what would you do though? Would you, would you, would you tell you? You'd have to tell your parents. I I'd imagine. initially probably go. Ugh. Ugh. Um, and then I'd say, is that you ejaculating? If that was me ejaculating, that'd be a, well, I heard it that'd be a health hazard. Well, yeah. um, I I probably would. Would I confront her? I don't know. I what think you'd it's do. one of those awkward things, like where I think sometimes if you well, find you out something, you can't, you can't put this into a pile of one of, of those awkward of things. similar things that no, but it's that one nature. of right. Well, okay, it's then one it's, of those classic things that always happens. It's one of those things that sometimes happen in families where something is so deep and dark that everybody just pretends it doesn't happen and moves on. God, I'm like, what, what things are you alluding to here? No, like, no, I've never had it happen in my family. Okay, um, yeah, sure. Fingers crossed. There's time, yeah, I don't know. Um, we'll tune in next well, week. You, maybe, you my, up. maybe my sister's been touching herself to my TikToks. Oh, God, what? I don't know what she's into. Not you, um, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully not. She is a lesbian as well, so that would just be a whole load oh, of... Um, that's the least problematic thing about Mixed emotions, that. yeah. Um, I think... I would just pretend that it wasn't happening and then it would eat me up inside um, and then I would have to tell my mum and cry probably. What if it was your mum? If it was my mum, I'm I'm literally saying, mum, what the fuck? That, that like, that's tarnishes not, that's your relationship the most, oh, yeah. for the rest of your life. Yeah, no, there's, there's no, there's oh no coming God. back from that. I'm thinking about everything and that's i mean i i'm i'm thinking about it if my mom did it first of all my mom just wouldn't do that i feel like i don't need to explain that oh, yeah, i think I like it goes without saying it's not it's not like oh when this happens what am i gonna do but wow yeah what would you even do oh i don't know I, oh, this is dark this is dark even, even if your friend say, say i did only fans would you subscribe to me to see what it was like i don't think so no, no. see i wouldn't i'd be like some people say that they would just because they'd want to see it but i think yeah. that that would permanently change the way I looked at that but again like right okay let's break it down would it change that much because like ev I know everybody's naked I know that when you take your clothes what? off you are a naked man yeah and you have naked parts to you yeah that you know get hard soft everywhere in between <laughs> this is an erotic part of the podcast um, if you're an audio listener <laughs> <laughs> George is fully nude right now <laughs> um no but I think like you know one half of me like the more liberal side of me is like 
who cares let's all be mm. sex positive let's like everybody can be naked it's fine but then the other half of me is like oh my god i don't want to see george's cock i don't want anybody to see my cock oh, no, it's, a, it's a very intimate part of me it is very intimate but then i mean i i think i mean there's also there's obviously an argument like but why is it why have we got these norms that yes. these parts of the body are, well it, we don't have to question that because it is a thing and they yeah, are okay. quite intimate like but I think so unless one... I thought, unless i'm going no it's not look we you start windmilling it in front yeah. of you then you could be like oh maybe it isn't to him yeah like george, I, th- I think george it's like personal personal preference yeah i guess so and i think you... most people's personal preference is that they want to keep that private like imagine like like this for example so say i whenever we'd ever been swimming we don't go swimming a lot <laughs> imagine, well, hot, <laughs> have we ever jumped been in a hot tub I was like yeah like ibiza and oh right stuff, yeah. yeah so whenever whenever we went there i Shall went we go I, swimming? I went in with a hot Sorry. uh with a <laughs> i went in with a t-shirt on yeah every time i went in with a t-shirt on and then one time that you'd never see me without my t-shirt on and then one time i took it off you'd be like oh this is a bit yeah so it's like obvious yeah like it happens with other parts it does make sense like even if somebody um because like a lot of people have body issues and stuff but for me if somebody no matter what they look like is confident about their body like say if we're in a situation we're all going to a pool and maybe they have like stretch marks or something whatever even if they are hiding that then it makes me as a person more conscious yeah. of their like vulnerability and then like not wanting to bring it up and feel a bit awkward about it whereas if like somebody is embracing whatever it is that they're uncomfortable about mm. it kind of makes you accept it more subconsciously like if as well in, cock to the wind and you just i'm just gonna start in. entering I business genuinely think i'll be like i'll out. be like oh he's got his cock out but he's not thinking it's weird so it mustn't be that weird yeah but everyone would probably be like why is he it's yeah come on max this is a friendly thing if i accidentally saw someone's cock like it actually yeah. like they're there in it oh my god my sister told the, me this you story of her, cock? no my sister told me this story of her friend who she used to work with they were um, an important business meeting and she Boy, sneezed she was wearing like um like blousy trousers like like um blousy kind trousy. of like um what would you what's the word like like vagina poof, poofy trousers oh, that were like come thin. on max and she didn't have any underwear oh, no, she... on no and she didn't have any underwear on and she sneezed and their trousers literally went completely to her ankles instantly wow because they were like blousy trousers like with made out of like satin like material so they and certainly she, she wasn't sat in them and they fell straight to her ankles and her just entire pussy was out. And I just think oh that is God. hilarious and brilliant. See that occasion you'd be like, oh God, what are Yeah, exactly, oh my this? God, accidental puss flap. But if she came out without the blousy trousers on and was just completely nude originally, you'd be like, why are you doing that? Uh, like you shouldn't be doing that. Yes. Also, you've put it there. Mm. It's not as weird as if they just randomly came yes. off. Yes, yes. Oh, one thing that I feel very strongly about that we should, that nobody in society, <laughs> Yes. No. Woo! Put in a burp compilation. Can we have a burp compilation, no, please? I want to. I want to counter oh, that as to how many be... burps that he's done on a podcast. That would be it, it's got to be like ten now, at least. Way more. We've had twenty. Ep- we've had on like twenty-two episodes. Way more than that. All right then. Well, that's your job, little editors. Oh my god, bless you. Um, and that, start off the edit. What, what should the edit start off like? Oh my god, I really don't want a burp compilation to be made of me. Please don't do that. A little wink to the camera. Nice. <laughs> No, um, so I think that nipples should be freed. Sorry, let me just like give more context to that. That's a clip. We're talking about... <laughs> <laughs> so we're talking about the fact that people should, you know, you know, people feel insecure about getting their genitals out and they, they want to keep that private. That's more normal and accepted. Mm. But why are women's nipples seen as something that we can't look at and that we should feel uncomfortable if we're looking at them? It makes no sense. My nipples are the most useless thing in the world and I could get them out right now and nobody would bat an eyelid. It would be allowed on the internet. Everything would be fine. A woman with her useful nipples. Yeah, useful nipples. Uh, that was another name that we were toying about for this podcast, yeah. wasn't it? Useful nipples. Max and George's useful nips. Yeah. Um, why can't we get them out? I'm looking directly at you now, society. Free the nip, get them out. Let's break this stigma down. See, I've got very pointy nips. Like right. they, they constantly stand to attention. Like Do if they? I'm in a, t- if I've got a t-shirt on, yeah. most of the time you'd be able to be like, whoop, there they oh are. Oh my god, someone in my family has huge nipples. Like they look like what's it? And oh, I it meant like areola. You no, no, no. Like length. What's the protrusion wh- called? Literally, I don't know. Nipple tip. Nip tip. I don't know. The tipple. They genuinely are like the tipple of a nipple. And um, it's so funny. Whenever we go on like holiday or something, his his nipples are huge, oh, and wow. um, it's really quite hilarious. Where do you go on holiday? Iceland. 
No, did you, uh, old times. Classic just Northerners, big. just off to the shops yeah. on holiday. So, right, um, I've got a phone call that I can hear. Have you? Yeah. Oh, right, nice. I can't remember what the question was for that last one. We went on quite the tangent, didn't we? Oh, it was only fans. Hi, Max and George and potential guest. Um, no. So, I've been seeing this boy for a while now, but the first time like, I actually like went over to his, he took me in his shed and I took him off. But he didn't come from that. He come in his pants when I was kissing him. Bit awkward, right? So obviously he was like, oh, I can't go inside with all this on me trousers. So I had to go into his house, which I'd never been in before, get him a new pair of trousers and a bottle of water so he could just, like, rinse it off. And his mum looked at me and went, who are you? Get out of my house and kicked me out of her house. What should I do? How do I get his mum to like me? What the fuck? Uh, so her main concern there is that she needs his mum to like her. My main concern would be How that, do I get rid of this boy? Number one, the boy jizzed his pants whilst I kissed him. Now that and is a then, compliment. And then she sucks him off. No, no, I think they oh, must have went to they must have off. finished the oh sucking God. offage and then gone back to kissy kissy. No, it doesn't sound like it. She well, said he, he didn't jizz from that, he jizzed from his Well pants yeah, so from she said she me. did do the sucky sucky, but she did he didn't right i don't want to talk about this i don't need the details of this like teenagers sex sex capades why did you make it teenagers sick. i'm guessing that they're a teenager because whoa why are they, like, max i don't know about making them young i'm not making them young i remember seeing the account well, i was of the person i was envis- envisaging like a 30 35 year old couple all right okay then good for you why um, were you envisaging 12 year olds i was not that envis- was... right okay we're rewinding and that's we're, really we're weird what the hell shut up Shut up! I'm gay. I don't even want to see a woman sucking off a little prepubescent cock. Why prepubescent now? Yeah, that's like. Oh my god! <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> um. Anyway, horrifying all round. I don't know why you would need a bottle of water to get rid of it. I, I just a bottle of water. I have so many questions, not enough answers. Also, surely I, if they, if boy asked girl to do that, I'd. And girl hasn't been in the house before, she'd be like, "That's a problem. Why don't you just go in? It's not like your mum's going to check your trousers just yeah. to, unless it was a big explosion." And or it, does your mum walk in and go, "Have you just today? Can I have a check? Come on, silly boy." Oh, that's weird. Also, have you ever jizzed your pants? No. Have you not? No. So I uh, have you ever had what they called where you jizz in your sleep? A wet you game. have. You definitely have. I'm looking at you right now, well, and I know prob- you I probably have. have See, like, I, I knew younger, it. Yeah. I knew not, it. I knew not, George not did his pants like all the time. You literally look at him. He's not gone re- red. He's gone red. He's jizzing. He's jizzing. You hadn't even gone red, but now you've gone red. Wait, that proves that he's his jizz. His pants. Anyway, I did it one time. Only like once a week. I did it one time, and it's quite a funny story. So it doesn't I, sound like it's gonna be a funny story. No, no, no. It, it actually quite is because it's when I had a girlfriend, but I'd like just started like dating her and i was going to meet her family and i felt really nervous like so cripplingly nervous because i was quite like awkward as a teenager if you can imagine it. i'm such like a confident strapping young man now but i wasn't then yeah so i was so nervous that i was like reading online like different reading online different techniques to like give you confidence give you like power to your body and i saw that if you like don't wank or like don't come for like a certain period of time what, doing a boxing it, fight or something well exactly so it just gives you like more like power and more you're confidence lampo, in yourself. You see so i did so i didn't why i didn't touch myself for like five days oh, you changed it from wank to touch yourself because i just don't like saying it but i didn't touch myself for like five days and the night before i woke up jizzing everywhere still in my sleep. jizzing it's still so i woke up whilst it was happening and I was and so, like, eh, literally, eh. I, so I started to shout. I was like, oh, and I started to cry because I thought that I'd like, <laughs> I started to cry because I thought that I'd like I'm broken my body. Yeah, I didn't know what was going on. Like I was so baffled by the whole thing. Oh, God. Um, and then I was just upset did, because did I was like, I've saved were, it all up. How much noise were you making? Not a lot. Did, did you not alert a parent or something? No, I was on a different floor. Oh, okay. I was in the attic by myself. They didn't want to associate with Home alone type Yeah. But wow, yeah, I just, oh, it was it was horrible. I, I cried. What did you do to solve the problem? 
what's the, what, how do you solve the problem <laughs> what's, what's the, the what's the problem what's the problem I just did it bro it's great <laughs> what do you mean what's the problem yeah. what do you mean what do I do to solve it the just problem? sat in the pool next to the bit I did before I went to bed no what what I woke up yeah so did you quickly like go ah run to the bathroom or something yeah I like I like right, that's how you solved the problem isn't oh, it oh George that semen is still on me today what do you mean how did I alright like, I didn't I, but I just left it and now it's seeped into my skin like and now I feel super though. strong what no Anyway, um, did you yeah. quickly try and put it back in because you weren't meant to get oh rid of my it? God, the thought of that. You can't put toothpaste back in the tube, George. You can't do it. You, oh. you can a little bit, not the whole thing. It's literally is it? Go on, fuck, fuck off, <laughs> fuck off, <laughs> fuck off. You are the sort of person that would sit there for hours, explain to me different ways that you actually can get the toothpaste back in the tube. You would do a full YouTube video on just putting toothpaste back in the tube. That is you. Oh, I hate what, sort of, what sort of thing is that to say? <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, interesting. So, um, I mean, I, 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 I feel bad for this, but I never had have had an, a situation where I've like kissed someone and ejaculated. I don't know pants. how that can happen. I think it's just like if they're that excited that like they, it happen. I don't know either. But I mean, yeah. I guess it's sense. just young love. Young love. Not too um, young though. No. It's I've had an email come in and I'm really just want to move on to be honest so <laughs> I'm glad do you know what um, one of the number one comments that we get on our podcast now is that uh, I tell so much about my life and you don't tell anything about yours you so you immediately you, I, I literally divulge every detail of my yeah, sorry little you, life you live a weird life no people not somebody said I actually know nothing about George nothing so tell us a fact about you. tell me three facts about you right now um, I am a co-host on the Useless Hotline oh, podcast. Uh, um, well, three facts about me. I, 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 had a, I had a fit in a monk enclosure as a kid. That's a good fact. You did. You had a fit in a monk enclosure. A monkey enclosure. A monk enclosure sounds like some sort of. I was going to say that sounds quite right peaceful, sort of, actually. Um, enclosure for them. Yeah, just like a nice. Well, you'd go temple. to the zoo and you'd be like, look at that little monk in the corner. Oh yeah, maybe not. Actually, that sounds a bit inhumane. Carry on. What happened? Um, so that's this is why I sleep with a fan. Oh, <laughs> sign up if you you might be the lucky one. Yeah, lucky so ones. interesting fact about George: you cannot sleep unless I a fan is blowing on. Is, yeah, but you're watching me. <laughs> no, not like a fan as in like woo is like blowing air yeah. on him. So even on the plane, you brought a miniature fan with you. Yeah, but so what? What does that have to do so, with monkey? Um, we were at the zoo as a as a kid. Um, I, I think I must have been like one. One and a half, maybe. Oh, right, okay. So very baby boy. Mm. Uh, maybe I might. I think it was younger than one. Oh. Um, but I uh, was. At, I wasn't in the monkey enclosure. I was outside looking at the monkeys. Yeah. They were all focusing on the monkeys. I was focusing on focusing on fighting for my life. So oh. I started having a a, a fit. Oh gosh. Um, like a, I was. I overheated and I had a seizure. Oh, and I got a rushed. real seizure. Yeah. Oh my god. Chicken salad. Um, and then I went to, um, I got rushed to the hospital. Yeah. And the doctors were like, oh, if you, if he'd have come like five minutes later, I'd had severe brain damage. Oh, so you, so I think you, the clocks you jizzed yourself. That day. Huh? You jizzed yourself then? I jizzed myself. What did you just say? I said, if he'd arrived five minutes later, he would have had severe brain damage. Oh, How, really? At what oh, point God. does that equate to jizzing? You just said if I came five. Well, okay. So you could have had severe brain damage? Yeah, oh and then God. I made the joke, so I think the clocks must have gone back that day. I if don't he'd arrived five minutes later, that'd have been hilarious. Anyway, I don't get um, math. sorry. So, um, yeah, so ever since I was a little boy, joke. little baby boy, yeah. um, they, my, I had a fan on me because they didn't want me to have oh, a fit in have, my sleep. So you, do you have a condition then that causes it's seizures? Not, it's if not you a condition. But is it normal to I'm, get I'm okay hot and now. have a seizure oh. though? I'm okay now, but I'm just a very warm person, as you know. I, like, yeah, so do you I'm not right have a condition then? Because you are abnormally hot. Like, on the plane, I was cold to the point where I put my jumper on and had a quilt over me, and mm. you were there in a shorts and T-shirt with a fan on you. Like, that's yeah. not... You are ab not. So do you not... Have you never it's got not a condition. It's just, it's just people have if different, like, regulations of the temperatures. Yeah. But is it not a condition to have if you have a seizure and you? Can you stop trying hot? to put a condition on? No, but me. I think I'd that sounds like it because that is not like I've been hot before, but I've never like had well, a seizure. My mum's really cold. Doesn't make my mum's really condition. cold. Her hands just completely. My, yeah, same but, for my mum. And she can drink a cup of tea as soon as it's been poured, like straight out of the oh, boiler. Really? The kettle should just drink my it. My mum's it's always an cold. Asbestos mouth. Oh. I don't think that's like a condition, but it's like oh, right. it's just like um, 
yeah, people say you've got an asbestos oh. mouse if you can just now not a mouse, a little asbestos mouse, a little mm. asbestos mouth oh. if you can. I had trench foot once. What the fuck? I did. I went to a festival, Creamfields. No, Tea in the Park, two thousand and I want to say fifteen or sixteen. Creamfields and Tea in the Park sounds tasty. Yeah, um, and I didn't change my socks the entire time that we were there, and we were there for like five days because I was an idiot teenager. And it was raining so heavily whilst we were there that all of my stuff got soaking in the tent. My tent flooded everything. Soppy tent. So I was just like, why even change my socks? All my socks are wet. I may as well just wear the same one for five days. Came home. Do you know that disease, um, that phobia where people have a phobia of holes? Trypophobia. My foot looked like that on the Ugh. bottom, like stuff growing out of it. Ugh. It was revolting i had to go to like I, I freaked the fuck out had to like go home scrubbed it in the shower like exfoliated like oh my god it was oh, you do scrub it sick. in the shower quite a lot horrible times um so yeah so if you're out there and you're thinking about wearing the same socks that are wet for five days in a row please do not do it because it was it was oh it was horrible yeah that's not yeah advisable. so that's see that's instantly another fact about me and you on this go on what go on one What's more what? fact okay one more um, i love how i said tell me something about you and you're like i had a seizure when i was two <laughs> yeah that is that's an interesting i guess that yeah fact. that is actually quite interesting yeah um what else um never okay. never broken a bone never you, needed stitches um right well what what what, what come what tell us the facts about you then now go um, i was trying to think of one quick you have 10 seconds if somebody said to you i'm going to shoot you if you don't tell me an interesting fact about you in 10 seconds what would you say um interesting fact about my slef um my great granddad uh, won gold at the Commonwealth Games for shooting. Shooting what? Um, his shot just pulled so many girls. No, he, uh, just shooting rifle shooting. Really? Yeah, my uh, my granddad used to own a gun shop. Own a gun shop? Yeah. So my family, gun shops even like so my family are like really good at shooting. That's like so. And uh, if you look at look at the last Chris MD video, you'll see I am too. Ah. Oh. Wow, that's like, uh, yeah, that, that I, I mean, I could have guessed, to be fair, just off knowing you for five minutes, I probably could have guessed that like, your family shoot things. What is that meant to mean? That know, makes it sound like, like I'm actually vibes. psycho. No, like posh vibes, like you're shooting. I'm not very, po I'm not a posh person though. I, I, I feel like yeah. I, I... mean, you got, you just, you do you hear the sentence that just kept, my granddad won gold in the Commonwealth Games for shooting. All right, cool. And my... you're saying that you're not a posh person. It's not posh to achieve something, Max. Um, Shut I, up. I, <laughs> I, um, what what was, country for? England? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Uh, Azerbaijan. I was going to say, I don't know. <laughs> Are all your family just like pure British? Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. Nothing like uh, even a little bit exciting. Uh, no, it, that's one, one thing I really want. That's why I'm trying to learn Spanish. Because I really want to be able to, not, not that I'm, I'm going to be Spanish, but yeah, like I... So you're going to have a Spanish By the way, when I say I'm trying to learn Spanish, I literally downloaded it this morning. <laughs> and I, I've been like doing it, but it's actually... Have you done Duolingo before? Um, yes. It's I actually have. so fun. Yeah, it's fun. It, it, like teach it, This is not sponsored, by the way. Duolingo, if you want to sponsor us, feel free. Please do. Um, yeah, it is fun, isn't it? It's good. Yeah. Right, sorry, I just realised we had um, this. I've, we'll finish the episode after oh, this. Oh, lo siento, lo siento. We've done way too much. Yeah, we've, we've gone way too much, right? Disculpe. What? I said, uh, sorry, um... My no, I, no, I said no. I said, um, oh, excuse me. My apologies. Oh, okay. Like, just God him, lo siento. Hi, Have George you? and Max. I'm having a slight mental breakdown as my full family has disowned me. Now you may be wondering why. I'll tell you. My grandfather and I were at a horses. We're at the horses, and I was showing him how to ride the horses. Don't get it twisted. As he was <laughs> strolling through the fields, my horse bolted, and he came flying off. He is 87 years old and is now hospitalized due to the incident. Please give me advice on how to get my family back. P.S. I want to ride George into battle. What the fuck is going on? Okay. Oh, I hate this. I hate this podcast. I hate everything about it. Wow. Okay. So your granddad is now in critical condition because you put him on a horse at 87 years old. Yeah, why are you popping your granddad on a horse that old? What are you playing at? Don't get him on that horse. Get him, plant him firmly on the ground, preferably Who's in a chair. Whose horse is that? You know, that? you know that sound? Whose horse is that? Maybe, I don't know. Oh, rubbish. Yeah, sorry. So that Irish guy walks out his door and he turns around, there's just a horse outside. Whose horse is that? Oh. Oh, sounds, that sounds honestly. really thrilling that that sounds really cool um 
Mate, I mean, Boring. let us know if you've if you've seen that clip of it. Yeah, it's really if you got funny. this far on the uh, podcast. Comment. Oh, I love that video, and I do remember it. Max is a silly little boy. No comment. Um, if George's granddad was so good at shooting, then why why can't George? He would have been a bike. <laughs> <laughs> that's quite good if George's <laughs> granddad was so good at shooting he would have been a bike I want that exact <laughs> sentence <laughs> that's great um, yeah I mean advice for this person you're a fucking evil bitch why Whoa. have you put I'm sorry I'm sorry well, that's not advice on how to get their par- uh, family back no but maybe you you're need not gonna get your granddad back this no, is a harsh lesson that maybe. you need yeah your granddad's probably gonna die I, you can't say that to them He's in critical condition at 87 years old for being bolted off a horse because she put him on a horse you can't just say he's probably gonna right, die right okay then there's a high likelihood that your granddad could die. And maybe, maybe you need to express pure sadness about that and tell your family, I'm so sorry, instead of writing into our podcast saying you want to ride George. Do you know what I mean? Maybe that's, that's actually quite good advice. That's probably accurate. Yeah, Yeah. I'd say, look, I'd say, lo siento. Oh. Means I'm sorry. Ah. Um, Say, perdón, perdón, perdón. It means pardon. Pardon me. Disculpe, excuse me. And then say, um, look, mi familia. Shut up. The only reason George is um, learning Spanish, by the way, is because he fancied this Spanish girl on the trip. I'm not afraid to admit it. <laughs> <laughs> and I, didn't you say, was it straight after that you were like, I'm going to learn a bit of Spanish? And I was like, right, okay. So the next time you see her, you're going to be like, hola. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go, I'm going to say, uh, lo siento, eh, me, me hablo pequeño español. What does I that say, mean? I'm sorry, I speak a little Spanish. Ah, okay then. Do you have to do a lisp? Why do you do a lisp every time you've done a Spanish accent? Uh, Espanol es, <laughs> es eh, sí, la Barcelona. Ah. It just, it just sounds better. Yeah, okay then, I get that. Right. Right, well, wow, this has been a anyway, no, so, yeah, so just say, just say to your family, say, I'm so sorry. Um, I didn't actually... Say it in Spanish. Say, mi familia, <laughs> lo siento. Eh, yeah. Mi... I don't know how to say granddad. Grandfather. I don't know. Something. Is my that grand- right? Say my. Oh, sorry, Callum. <laughs> <laughs> just, just sorry. <laughs> Our producer made a sound that made me think I was right, but he was just like, Ooh. "What the fuck?" Yeah. Uh, just say yeah. My, uh, I didn't uh, think. I, I, I wasn't with it. I stupidly thought he'd be able to withhold his strength on the reins, um, but unfortunately, he let go. Horse bolted, and I'll take it on the chin. Um, if he dies, that's on me. <laughs> <laughs> Someone please um, <laughs> translate that to Spanish as well. If he dies, that's on me. Um, <laughs> God, that's so horrible. What a lovely way to end the episode. Anyway, thank you, George. Um, <laughs> thank you for gracing me with your presence. Thank you for an amazing trip that we had in Japan. It, yes. uh, you know, I'll never forget it. Arigato. And um, arigato. And I truly enjoyed getting to know a little bit more about you today and on the trip. It was a lovely experience. Oh, you're actually being nice. Thank you. I know I am. Um, and do you know what? I think I had I'm a in good love time. With, and I'm I was. Do you know what? Before I went on the trip, I thought, oh, this is gonna be shit. Max, no, me and Max get on really well. Yeah. But after I've spent, we haven't spent more than like 24 hours. I mean, we spent like three days together, sort of at that. Just, just at that's that hotel. purely sexual, no, though, isn't at it? The, at like Jack Will's stuff. Yeah. But never just us. Mm. And it's like a full week. So I was like, oh. Just naturally, even even like your best mate, you'd be like, oh, they just would get on my tits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, it didn't happen. Oh, I wish I could say the same. Um, no, I'm joking. No, I, I really enjoyed it. That was so lovely. Thank you, George. Okay. Oh, look at us. Oh. <laughs> um, if you enjoyed this episode, I feel sick. I'm never going to say anything nice to you ever again. Oh, my God. Um, if you enjoyed this episode, then please give it a like. Drop us a subscribe. <laughs> Leave a comment down below. Um, and get your tits out. Free the nipple. To be honest with you, mm. I just think it's silly. Um, if you are listening, give us a five star rating. Um, make sure to drop us a little follow. Like uh, I think you can follow on Spotify yeah, and stuff. Yeah. Just rate us. I love how we're twenty two episodes in. We know for a fact us. that we can do that, and yeah. we still question it every time. <laughs> if you want to send in your queries next time, mm-hmm. you can write them in at at, at the useless hotline podcast at gmail.com mm-hmm. that's the useless hotline podcast at gmail.com if you want to write them in for a written query or you can send an audio voice note to our instagram at the useless hotline pod that is at the useless hot at the useless hotline pod um and until next time arigato arigato thank you